What's up guys? Spring is finally here and that means it's time to get some stuff cleaned up. Today we're going to be going through these flower beds, grass beds I guess, cleaning them up and I just want to talk about what we're doing and why we're doing it. So thank you for clicking on this video. If you like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. So this is called horsetail or snake tail grass we're dealing with. This stuff does not, it is not easy to move as you can see. We have one guy with a rake and two with the hedge trimmers. Um, hedge trimmers are our go-to to cut these kind of grasses. I mean any of our perennial grasses we will cut with hedge trimmers just because it is much quicker than uh, your traditional trimmer or whatnot. So. Hedge trimmers just work super well instead of standing there with like clippers or whatnot. Um, but this snake tail, horse tail grass, whatever you want to call it, it is fine stuff and it does not want to blow like with the blower or anything. So we pretty much have to hand rake all this and pull it out by hand. As you can see in a little bit, we're going to try to blow it, which it does blow a little, but kind of have to get it worked out of there with a rake. So um, this grass is definitely the hardest we have to deal with around this whole property but it's not bad we got it looking good after a while so So right now we're just blowing and trying to rake all the grass and leaves out of the flower bed up into the yard so the mower can mow it up, mulch it, and we can haul it away a lot easier. It's just much simpler to pick up after you mulch it in the bagger. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're just blowing it all out of the flower beds, getting it into the yard so we, it can be ran over by the lawn mower and picked up by the bagger.
Now I'm raking up all this dead material that has fallen off over winter. Uh, these are pretty much just sticks and the leaves left over from these plants. So the mower will not be able to pick them up just because there's no way it's going to go up the bagger without getting plugged. So I'm putting them into piles and we will pick them up, clean it up, and then we'll probably run over these flat grasses with the mower after I uh, kind of pick them up off the ground with the rake. And then we'll come back through with the hedge trimmers and clean it up. So we're making our final pass through these flower beds. One guy's raking, one guy's using the blower, and we're trying to clean as much of the loose debris out as we can. And we're running the biggest Echo uh, backpack blower that they make, and that thing moves some serious air. So it's pretty darn nice to have when you do these big cleanup jobs, but it just makes it look so much nicer when a guy runs in front of it with a, a rake and you kind of work together. I didn't forget about the piles. We got sidetracked and started cleaning up the whole other side, but we're back. I'm picking up these piles. We're getting them cleaned up. We'll run the mower over these grasses and then hedge trimmer them, get them looking nice and good and continue moving on.
just want to thank you guys who have all made it to the end. I really appreciate you watching. Um, if you like what you see, please drop a like, subscribe. Um, I'm looking forward to doing this more this season. Uh, we're just getting fired up and we got a lot more projects ahead of us. So thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.